hello and welcome back to my channel in today's recipe i will be showing you how to make swiss rolls for any event or an easy dessert at home these swiss rolls are guaranteed to be a crowd pleaser to begin i am separating the egg yolks from the egg whites i do not want any egg yolks in the egg whites but you can have some egg whites in the yolks this is because the egg whites will not beat if there's yolks in it. Now I am going with the granulated sugar and beat it into my egg yolks on medium speed. This should take about 3-4 to four minutes. Now I am going in with some oil. You could use olive oil. I am using grapeseed oil or you can use vegetable oil. I am going to beat this again and emulsify it until it's nice and smooth. My batter is almost finished and I am just going in with some milk and continue to beat it on high speed. This is just about finished and now I am going to add the flour. It's very important that you sift the flour because this is a very light cake similar to a chiffon cake. I am adding the flour into two parts and I am whisking the flour in because I want to keep the air in the cake. You just want to mix this until it's nice and smooth and get all the flour in until you're not seeing any flour. Now I'm adding the second part of my flour. And you will find the ingredients all listed in the description box at the bottom. Press the word more under the description box and there it will be. Once I get this nicely incorporated, I am going to move on to the egg whites. You have to make sure when you're mixing the egg whites in this recipe that the bowl is very very clean and the egg whites are at room temperature. If the egg whites are cold, it has any particles from the yolks in it, the bowl is dirty, the egg whites will not mix. I am adding cream of tartar to this as my stabilizer. And you just want to keep beating this until you see ribbons and that's where you know you are getting to soft peaks. And this is almost there, my ribbons are coming in nicely. And I am almost there. So just about now. And there you see my stiff peaks. Now it's time to add the two mixtures together. I am adding the egg yolks and the egg whites together. I am whisking this completely in. Whisking is going to increase volume and keep my air in it. I don't want the air to escape. Now I'm adding my second part of the egg whites and continue folding this in with my whisk. You want to whisk it just until you see it's nice and pale looking yellow and the egg whites are no longer seen. This is the texture you're looking for. I am now setting this aside and add it to my lined baking sheet. It's just a matter of adding it all to the baking sheet and smooth it all off evenly. If it's uneven, one side will burn and that is the side that has the least amount of batter. So you want to make sure that you use a spatula or a cake smoother and you want to smooth everything out evenly. This is also going to remove some of the air bubbles from the top. And the cake is going to be even and it's going to take the color evenly. Now I am tapping this on my countertop for about 9 times instead of 3 
to get rid of all the air bubbles that you've seen if you realize it's becoming nice and smooth. Baking time, 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees for 15 to 25 minutes. This is now done and the signal is it has since moved away from the side of the pan and it is now ready to be handled. I am placing this on my conker top and move away the parchment paper from the sides of the cake. In the intro of the video you see that my cake doesn't have any crust but if you want crust on your cake you can sprinkle some powdered sugar at the top of grease of parchment paper and the crust would not roll away on the parchment paper. I am removing the parchment paper from the cake because this is going to be the inside of the cake. This is where the filling is going to be. I am now trimming one short end straight. This side is going to be in the bias because it's going to be the very end of the roll. I am training this into four while it's still warm. If I don't train it, when I am going to roll the cake, it's going to break. So I have to train it so that it takes the shape of the rolling pattern. You can also cut notches into the beginning of the cake. But I am not going to do this because my cake is a very thin cake. If it's a thick cake, I wouldn't have done it. I'm setting this aside to finish the For this simple cream filling, I am beating up some cream cheese. Now I am going in with the powdered sugar and I am just beating this until it has incorporated. It's going to be kind of dry because there's no moisture to it. Now I am adding the vanilla and the cream. This is the flavor of this recipe. I am beating this until it becomes nice and smooth and creates some beautiful ribbons. This is the texture that I'm looking for. This is now done. For the cream, I am using cold whipping cream and I am beating this until I see ribbons. You can omit the whipping cream in this recipe and use the cream cheese that I first mixed. Simply by adding some more cream cheese and some more powdered sugar. The ribbons are now coming in nicely and this is the texture that you're looking for. Now it's time to add back the cream cheese. And if you are making this recipe, you want to just add the cream cheese and beat this for about 15 to 20 seconds just until it has incorporated. It doesn't take long at all. And guys, subscribing to the channel is free. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please click that subscription button, click the like button and the notification bell so that whenever I make a new content, you will get notified. Help me grow this channel by sharing my content out to a wider audience. Mixing together the whipping cream and the cream cheese should not take long. It should just take about 30 seconds to 1 minute. Now I am unrolling my cake and as you can see it has been trained to roll. I am using grape jelly and I am spreading this all over my cake. You don't have to use grape jelly, you can also use strawberry, marmalade, any flavor that you like. Make this recipe your own. I am just masking the entire cake in a tin film of jelly this is for color and that beautiful berry flavor that i like in the swiss roll you can also omit jam or jelly in your cake rolls and use the cream guys i would like to know where you are watching from i am from the caribbean trinidad and tobago specifically and i would like to know where you are watching from you can drop it in the comment section below. This is done and I am now going to add my cream on top of this. 
you just want to pour all the cream on top of it and you want to get a nice smooth even layer You want to get all the corners so that you have the cream all inside your sous sauce. Now I'm going to roll this up. It's not easy to roll because it has already been trained to roll. When you are rolling this, you want to roll it tightly as you go along because you're going to have gaps when you cut it. And you want to just roll it continuously and pull away the paper as you roll. So you want to roll, squeeze everything out, and then you are removing the paper, and then you are going again until everything has been rolled in. At the end of the roll, you just want to get that final roll and that final squeeze in to squeeze everything out to compress all the air inside. I have refrigerated these for four hours and I have since cut them into one and a half inch slices. Now I am dusting these with some powdered sugar for presentation. You don't have to use powdered sugar at the top, you can use whipping cream at the top also or your cream cheese. And here you have it, an easy recipe for Swiss rolls. Thank you for watching. Hope you have subscribed to the channel. See you on another great day for another great recipe.